and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things and today's uh, project revisit uh, for May 2023 so um, or 2022 so uh, if you don't know um, what these project revisits are. I basically look at um, projects that I've done in the past and remake them. I usually stick to the month that it was originally made in to go with the month that I revisit it in. So for example, today we are revisiting the Sewers Club May 2022 project, which was this linen double pocket side bag. Um, I made it last May and so now we're in this May and we're going to talk about me remaking it um, and things that I have changed. So um, we're going to do this video in a couple of parts as usual. I believe four parts. Part one is talking about the bake in general, um, what the project was um, and what I wanted to change about it. Part two is um, showing you the changes that I did make to it. Part three is pros, cons, and user error of the new bag. And then part four is final thoughts and sign off. So quickly before we jump into part one and what the original bag looked like, I just want to say if you don't know what Sewers Club is, Sewers Club is a monthly subscription box where you get everything you need to make one project. Um, I've been getting the box since January of 2020? 2021? Suddenly I cannot remember. 2021 I believe. Yeah I think it started in 2020. I don't quite remember how long I've had this box. That's kind of crazy. But anyway I've been getting this box for a long time. Two and a half years. So 2021. Um and I really enjoy it. Um, some of the projects I'm not a big fan of, and when those things happen, um, I either never look at the the project again, or um, I come back to it and tweak it to make it more usable for me. And that's what we did in this box. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into part one and talk about um, what the original bag looked like, what I liked about it, and what I didn't like about it as a, like, a review. So here's the original bag. You had your D-rings, right, and a really beautiful long strap. I really liked the fabric on this bag. I thought it's like really cool, like the linen on it. Um, I like the, the monochromatic subtle look of it. Brown is really not my color, but I did enjoy it. Um, I didn't like the bag though. I thought it was too small um it wasn't functional for me I didn't understand this flap right it just covers this zipper um it has a pocket here like a little side pocket that's kind of fun right and then the flap covering the side pocket and then this top pocket here I just didn't find it to be like a useful project. I did make some mistakes on it. I didn't catch it all the way on some of these um, zipper tabs. This is when I started. Um, they say make Sewers Club says when you make your zipper tabs make them about the width of your zipper. What I've been doing since this bag is making them slightly wider when I remember to, so that um, I catch all of this when I do that. It's not a big deal. Like it doesn't mess with the structural integrity of the bag, but it is um, something that I noticed. Oh, they did, we did a ballot box on these. Hmm. Um, and then I also had like minor things like I accidentally um, put this here because I, I thought that I wasn't thinking straight and I thought that this snap went on this piece of fabric, when it went on the front piece. So little things like that. Um, I've only used this bag a couple of times because I'm not a big, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. I tried it out around like walking down to the grocery store and stuff like that, but it was a little too small to hold my reusable bag that I take everywhere with me. So I didn't really like that about it. But um, I did take it to, oh, see, this is pulling too. 
this is a me thing, right? Not a Sewers Club thing. Um, I did take it to uh, the Oilers Bruins game that I went to on in March. And I was like, oh, that has some utility to it because it was the right size to hold the few things that I needed. But it's still, for me, not as functional as I would like it to be. So um, what I wanted to change about it is I wanted to move this flap to this other side so that it covered this zipper and this zipper, just in case, like if I don't have the zipper closed or something, it covered it quite well. Um, that meant I had to move these tabs to the side as well. And what I decided to do is I decided to take this and um, make a pocket on this side too, so that I have like a little card pocket on it. So this is the original. Um, and this is the new one. So part two, the things that I did change. So this is the uh, bag now, the new one that I made. Um, I'll show you the changes that I made next, but first I just wanted to discuss like how I picked my fabric. So if you saw my fabric haul from last month, I want to say, end of last month, I picked up this fabric, right? I got this lovely fabric and I got this lovely fabric. And I was going to make this bag out of these two fabrics. But when you look at them together, it's too much of the same. It's a bit too busy. They're part of the same collection, but I just found it to be a bit too much. So what I decided to do is I decided to add um, either like a white or something. And I um, had this black and white polka dot from a different project laying around. And so I did that instead. So instead of this beautiful red fabric here, I went with these two fabrics instead. And I think that it balances it out a little bit better. So the things that I changed, um, A, the, the color scheme, right? The original color scheme was this really great monotone brown. Um, if you got this box, um, you would have also seen that they had it in this black and uh, beige khaki kind of color too. Um, or there was also a green version as well. I believe my mother-in-law got the green version. Here's a photo of it up on the screen for you. Um, if you do want to see a walkthrough of how to make this particular bag, um, I have a link here for you on screen if you want to go to that, um, or um, it'll be linked at the end of the video as well. And basically um, what that video is, is it's the original video of me walking through how I made this breaking down the steps for you along with some other little things as well but in this video i just want to talk about things that i changed so yeah let's go back to that so here's the new bag i did it this beautiful like plum blossom kind of fabric for the majority of it um, and then i did this black and white for um, the contrasting fabric. On this one here, right, I did the same thing. The backs are both contrasting. The fronts are, this one is a contrast. This one I did the same for both because I like the look of that better. Um, the interior flap, right, is the same contrasting fabric. Your interior pocket, which is done on opposite sides, this one is the black and white, so the contrast. This one is the floral, so the contrast. Um, and then the interior for this one is the floral as well. And that's what I did on this one, is the floral on the interior as well. So the really only big change that I did is I made the flap the same as the front flap, but I kept everything else um, basically the same in layout. Um, my biggest change is I moved the D-rings from the top to the side because I wanted to encase my in or my top pocket inside of the bag. 
So it's inside of the flap now rather than outside of the flap. And how I did that is I extended the flap onto the back, like a different bag that we made um, two years ago, I wanna say. Um, again, the thumbnail for that is on screen for you and a link um, if you want to check that out. This is a bit off center, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and what I did is I made an interior little card pocket flap on the other side of the zipper. So here is the Walgreens card that I use for everything. And it just sits in here now, just like that nice and secure. So that um, if you wanna be able to reach like a credit card or your debit card or some like cash or whatever, you can just have it sitting like right here, easy to grab. So that's the main change that I made. Um, I also changed the orientation of the zipper, but that was accidental. Um, and yeah, I think that's it, the main changes. So to reiterate that babbling nonsense, the main changes that I made to this were, I moved my D-ring tabs to the side, I created a longer flap to have a pocket, and I um, put the zipper on the inside. So um, dimensions wise, the original pocket for this, if you want to make the same change that I made, if you've already have this pattern, is um, I have this folded wrong. All right, so the original dimension on this exterior um, pocket cl flap closure was five by five and three quarters, and I added three inches to it, so it became five by eight and three quarters. So this is a complete piece and it's eight and three quarters, adding those extra three inches to make the pocket. And then in assembly, which is way down in um, section 20, is instead of following this, mark the middle, blah, 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 I said mark down three inches and center flap on the, um, on your back piece. Um, and then check uh, placement of the snap to make sure everything works out perfectly. And I actually figured out a good way to do the snap too. So what I did is after I had it all placed out, I made put the snap in first, right? And then what I did is I took a pen, like a marking pen. This isn't a marking pen, but to give you an idea, I took this marking pen, I laid out my snap where I wanted it to be, and then I just lifted it up a little bit and I marked right at the bottom of where the snap was hitting, or like where this end here was hitting on this fabric. So, right, like we'll pretend that this, which we'll talk about in a second, sits here right and I'm like okay so this is my new piece of fabric set the snap in find where that um, piece is hitting just like that and this is I know where the bottom of the circle is right where the bottom of the female end or of the male end sits right so that's like right here so then I knew where to mark my um, spot for this guy so it sat perfect I just figured that out myself so I thought I would tell you all about it too so yeah that's how I did this so in part 20 um, when you're attaching your um, flap you just put it in a different spot or maybe the flap was attached further up oh yeah so right here where it says sewing continued, right? It says center the top unsewn side of the flap closure, blah, blah, blah. I just wrote no. And then down here in section 20, I um, wrote down where the I attached the flap instead. Um, I hope that makes sense. If not, ask in the comments and I'll try to make it more clear. So yeah, those were the changes that I made. 
Um, I also had this guy floating around from a dollar store cross stitch project and it was the perfect size of circle to make the curved edges. So I just clipped um, little points on here to show me where I needed to line up my um, template to do the curves. What I should have done is centered it better so that um, the A was more balanced because that kind of threw me off when I was tracing the template out, but I could have used the back too. So that's what I used instead of trying to find a template or make a template or whatever is I had this and it was the perfect size. All right, so let's talk. Actually, before we do pros, cons, and user error, let's talk about like what I can fit in to here. My biggest complaint is it's not big enough for my wallet. But like I said, I've decided to use it differently than I thought I would. So this is large enough to hold some cards, right? Some cash if you want. Um, if you can also put like your AirPods in here too, it holds well. But um, when I was rifling around in this section here, um, my AirPods went flying and um, it landed in the middle of the street. They survived a car or drove right over them, but like their tires didn't hit. So that was nice. So I don't know if I'd recommend your AirPod case sitting in there, but they, it can. Maybe if you sewed like a little snap or something, you could get it in. But anyway, I designed it for cards. So you can put cards on this side. In here, you can fit quite a bit as well. Um, I have some flat sunglasses. I have a snack. Um, I have my old iPhone, right? This is like a monster. This is a 6S Plus, I think it was called. Right, it can slide in there as well. Zip up, right? You can slide your AirPods case in there or headphones or whatever. These are my husband's keys because I cannot find my own, right? Those can sit in this front pocket if you want. And close it up and there you go and more you can move things around so you can get quite a bit of stuff in here if you want to but yeah um, I have been carrying this around a little bit but um, not a whole lot what I did with this pocket for too is I keep a mask in there that's easy access just in case I need it for anything. Especially now with like allergy season, I'm sneezing up a storm and it just feels nicer to have like a mask covering my face when I don't, when I like go into grocery stores or whatever. Just in case if I start sneezing, I don't look like a crazy person. So yeah, that's this. Now let's talk uh, pros, cons, and user error. Um. I like it. I like it a lot more than this guy. I find it to be a little bit more functional and I really like the um, flap closure going over top of it. Cons, it's still a little too small, but for what it is, I think it's really, really nice. Um, I also was really careful in how I placed this so that I had like a full flower on this. My fabric for this was a little bit too large, um, the print, so I never had like a full on all of the print all at once kind of deal but I do like how this print stayed together um I forgot what I was doing and I made the original um snap closure on this side first and then I'm like oh wait that means it's gonna point down and I want it to point up but I have this rose gold handmade tag um, sitting around from last September's box. So I just added the handmade to take on that so that you couldn't tell. Um, and then it's all good. My biggest complaint though is that I thought that I took my time and centered this pocket really well, but I didn't. Like if you look on the back, you can see that my flap is a little bit off center. But since this is for me, right, I'm not planning on doing anything with it. I just plan on keeping it. I'm okay with that. Um, the other thing I just noticed is that I just have like a simple 
um, closure, like just a simple uh, stitch holding these in place. Like I ran over it a couple of times, but this looks like they did a ballot box to really hold down the flap or the um, strap so it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. So what I'm thinking of doing is ripping this out and redoing it so that I have ballot boxes too, because I like how like stable that feels. I really like that. So I might change that out. But yeah, so that's the finished bag. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like the colors that I chose? Would you have rather have seen um, me use this instead of the black and white? Or do you like like the high contrast part of it? I'd be curious to hear all of that down in the comment section below. Um, I really like this bag. I think I'm going to keep it in rotation more often now. Like I'm a really big fan of really big bulky bags. Um, so these little guys don't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I can see where in certain circumstances it's probably uh, nice to have. Like if you're going on a walk and you need a couple of things, um, that kind of idea, I think it works really, really well. Um, or like if you're maybe like at a farmer's market or something and you need to have like some things on you and you know that you have like a basket or something that you're carrying all of your stuff in. Maybe it's nice to have like a like a small dedicated little bag for that and then like a larger bag to just throw things into. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd be really curious to hear what you have to say. So yeah, um, that's this month's project revisit. Um, if you want to see more sewing style videos, Sewers Club videos, I do Sewers Club or I do sewing videos every single Wednesday, Sewers Club videos at least twice a month. Um, the first, usually the first Wednesday of the month is a Sewers Club unboxing video for the current month. And then two weeks after that is the project review for the current month. So you can look forward to seeing that video next week. Um, and then I do project revisits um, and then independent kind of sewing projects on the off weeks as well. Um, every single Monday is also some sort of miscellaneous video. Um, and every single Friday is a long term project. So if any of that stuff interests you, think about subscribing. I'd like to have you. I'm tiny and I enjoy um, seeing those numbers change. Um, yeah, and if you've made it to the end of this video and if you like these kinds of like revisit kind of videos, maybe like the video as well. I like to see the likes come in too. I just like to see any kind of engagement with my videos, really. Um, yeah, it kind of makes me feel like I know that I'm on the right track or I'm doing something of in some interest. But anyway, with all of that being said, I am going to go. I have another video to film right after this. Actually, next week's video, I finished the project early. So I'm going to do that and take a little bit of the stress off. So yeah, um, with all of that being said, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you again soon. Bye.